Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Aben Abernum 5. Um, oh, so the PF3 key, or the F3 key is a quick save. I wasn't aware of that. That's what I use to start my um, recordings. Hmm, interesting. Okay. You reach the top of the stairs and step out into the main chamber of Black Chasm Outpost. Um, also, I looked and there is no like subtitle for this game. It's just Abernum 5. Very inventive. <laughs> anyway, it's an enormous natural cavern. You can see surprisingly well. Dim light is shed by long strands of glowing moss dangling from the ceiling. The main gate is not far to the north and it is defended. Several ballasty sit nearby, silently promising a spirited defense if the outpost is attacked, or at least attacked before the damp and rod destroys them. The air is slightly cooler and less oppressive up here, and you are starting to feel slightly more comfortable. As you look around, you see that a woman is waiting here for you. She is standing in the middle of the courtyard between you and the exit, surrounded by piles of recently delivered building supplies. She shouts, Come here! I need to talk to you! I won't try to kill you, promise! Really, because everyone has so far. Okay. And the big map shows this is where we're at. So this is where we're going to be getting into, it looks like. Rapids. Um, alrighty. Oh, they've got a jobs board here. Seeing your quest. You are standing at a job board. Move. Most towns and settlements have one. This is something they carried for forward. This is how you build your yourself up by doing these quests. Adventurers can consult them to learn of bounties. Yeah, that can obtain. They can obtain and jobs they can perform for pay, of course. Click on the board to see what is available. To get a reward for a completed quest, talk with the person in the quest description. To see quests you have been given, open up the journal window by pressing the button above. Uh, also, it can be worthwhile to return to um, old job board. Sometimes new missions will appear. And that's true, they do. So we have message, New Horizon, Annette. A note, Silwood's Wax has been attached to this board. Someone has written on it. To Mayor Suli, New Her... New... How... Han... Han... Oh, I can't even talk. Hanston Delivery. B will be paid upon delivery. And these are all... Some of these are timed. No point in post can tell you. Aid to... Liaison Kelvin of Alvarium will pay an Empire soldier well for assistance. One of... Ravina's clanmates? Clanmates was lost while on a hunt in the tunnels east of the outpost. His name is Enemio. If you find him and can assist him, a bounty will be paid. The bargain walls. The Empire desires information on the defense of the Abyss city of Bag. Uh, these names, Bregara, northwest of the outpost. They had the Abyss City, was where they, the worst of the worst were put in there. Um, soldiers are expected to, if feasible, travel close to the city walls and get a good look. When you have information, return with it to Sergeant Cinema. Nice scuttler eyes. An infestation of bugs has recently appeared in the caverns northwest of New Hanston. Encantrix Isher in Black Chasm Outpost would like to analyze the parts of the stronger specimens in the hopes of extracting something nice. Hmm. A reward would pay be paid for eight quality eyes liberated from either of the stronger varieties. Only the best, freshest eyes will be suitable. So you can you can take them. So this is something to remember to come back to. And normally it's marked on the map, and it is. It's right there, I believe. Yep. Okay. No, well, maybe not. Normally they were always marked on the map. You could tell what it was. Okay. So let's go this way. Who is this person? Sergeant Cinema. Based on the insignia on her shoulder, this woman is a sergeant of the Empire. She looks pleased to see you. She is also embarrassed that the first thing that happened upon your arrival was that someone tried to kill you. She walks up to you. You salute. She says, Glad you made it out. I was going to do 
I was going to do the whole tough sergeant act and shout at you, but I think that it that the ambush was more hazing than you deserved. I am Sergeant Cinema, appointed by General Manfred Redmark to look after things here when he's not around. Since he is absent, I will be helping you to settle into your new, hopefully, temporary life in Ab Abernum. What do you mean by hopefully temporary? Hmm. So you are in charge here? I am when the general is away. There isn't much to be in charge of. Lots of space here, but the many, but not many soldiers to fill it. It's difficult to get new troops down here, but there are good resources for you to look, take advantage of. Mm, why don't you have more soldiers here? It is very delicate. The Aberrant Knights don't trust us. Not a bit. It was a lot of work just getting us permission to have three diplomatic outposts down here, and this is the most remote one. The number of soldiers we can send down here is limited, both by treaty and by the difficulty transporting them here, teleporting them here. So not many come down, and most of them go to the other outposts in the more central areas. Where are the other outposts? Not that these places would mean anything to you, but the other outposts are in the Eastern Gallery and the Great Cave. Yes, I remember those names from the previous games. I wish I was there, much closer to what the Avernites have that pass for cities, more culture, better pubs. But we get stuck out here near the northern frontier, the backwater. Why even have diplomacy with the Avernites? It's Empress Prazit's way. Pra Prazak's way. Her version of the Empire is more tolerant, less cruel. Some would say more weak. Not me, but some. Okay. Um, so, tell me about the general. Each of the three Empire outposts in the underworld has a general assigned to it. One is General Manfred Redmark. It's a sign of respect to the Abernites, though. They tend to spend as little time as possible down here. Of course, that will change very quickly. Why are the generals spending this much time down here? Why are the generals spending so much more time down here? Because of the assassination attempt after Doreska, Dor, Dore, Dorecus, I can never say that right. Donicus, I'm sorry, it's not an R, it's an N. Donicus tried to kill the emperors. It bled down. He bled down here. The empire will spare no effort to be avenged, and the Avenites are wise enough to not get in our way. That is why you, an empire soldier, will be allowed to roam, within limits, of course. Okay. Um, I'd like to know more about Avernum. She snickers. That won't last long. You, like me, will soon have had your fill of this place. The heat, the cold, the foul wine, the foul owl, the dark, the monsters, the billing of the walls closing. She shakes her head. You'll learn it all soon enough. The main thing you need to know is that we are here with their permission and there are rules. So why did you end up down here? She sighs. You can smell the wine on her breath. I... The commander on the surface was sick of me, and now, as always, when someone in the Empire has influence and gets sick of you, Avernum is where you end up. Yeah, and that's true. That's kind of what happened to me, isn't it? And what are the rules? You won't be able to travel freely until we can get papers of transit for some of us. To get them, you'll have to go to the nearest town and speak with the mayor, but you can talk more about your mission later. But we can talk more. You can't kill any Abernighty citizens except in self-defense. And believe me, it took some work to get the right even to defend ourselves. So when you're dealing with Abernighties, tread lightly. As for non-citizens like goblins, monsters, and so on, feel free to hack away. Okay. Um, so did she have... Um, so what are the rules? We already did that. Did you, okay, so... Okay, so yeah, um, why was I attacked? We are still trying to find out for sure, but it seems that Donicus has plenty of infiltrators in the army. People who long for the old times when the Empire was savage and we could get away with anything. We are trying to contact the other outposts. I am sure that the agents of Donicus and his dark side loyal loyalists did plenty of damage, but the hunt will continue. How do you feel about the Empire? She looks up at the stone ceiling over her head. I am long past having opinions. I just want to finish my 30 years, get my pension, and retire to the s in the sun. How did an agent of Donicus infiltrate, infiltrate you? 
I'm sure he's far from the only one. Many soldiers secretly support Donicus and his dreams of uncontrolled empire power. Yeah, that fuels a lot of people's ambitions, doesn't it? Uncontrolled power. We are trying to contact the other outposts to see if any of any other dark side loyalists have been stirring up trouble. Hopefully we will have information soon. Um, what do I need to do? Uh, yep. Well, you are mainly going to do odd jobs and watch this outpost while more experienced soldiers hunt for Donicus. I hope you weren't be dreaming of a glorious task. That's a long way off for you. Your first mission is dip diplomatic. You need to go north to New Hanston and find the mayor. You need to request papers of transit for a small band of Empire soldiers. Get them and bring them back to me. And where is New Hanston? Leave this outpost to the north and follow the road. It is it is hard to miss once there. It is hard to miss? Hmm. Once there, the new Hanston guard will be able to direct you to the mayor. And where is Donicus? Nobody knows. Some are in Avernum. The Avernites have promised us once we have agreed upon the soldiers to do the searching that our agents can go anywhere. The Avernites are nervous about letting Empire soldiers wander at will, but they know enough not to refuse us when we have experienced such an attack. When we have experienced such an attack, Donicus and his dark side loyalists must be hunted down. And who are the dark side loyalists? That's what Donicus' band as rebels call themselves. Captain Newsom, while still alive, must have counted himself among their number. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, and where will I be searching? The other outposts are exploring the more settled, civilized parts of Aver Avernum. You have been tasked with searching the northern frontier, a much more miserable job. And in the view of most of the generals, pointless. Why pointless? Why are we doing it then? Because the northern frontier is wild, unsettled, barren, out of communication with anything, if Donicus truly plans to risk everything to overthrow the empire, he would not uh, he would not disappear from the world. It would mean that he is given up. That is what many say. Not General Redmark, though. He truly believes that Donicus is here. That is why he requested this command immediately after the assassination attempt. And where do you think Donicus is? I do not have opinions, and I don't plan to start. All I know is that the general who finds Donicus will... Uh, and I know that the general who finds Donicus will... Well, Empress Prazek has no children, no heir, and some generals are looking for the sort of fame and glory that... Oh dear, I am starting to sound like I have an opinion. Please be assured that I don't. <laughs> okay, so I think um, that's more... Yeah, that's all. Okay. Where will I be searching? Why pointless? Uh, that's all for now. Okay. So, I will guide you. Anything here but boards? Nope. So, who is this person? Guard. You walk up to speak with the soldier, hoping to learn more about Avernum and the outpost. You chat with him, but you don't learn anything. In these tr tr tremulous times... The, they are nervous about sharing too much with an outsider. After a little unproductive chat, you move on. Okay. This looks like an anvil. What do we have here? Um, do we have somewhere we can sell stuff? This does not say can't take. Hmm. Uh, what's this? Uh, scroll group heal, not yours. Oh, oh, they do say not yours, so... Not yours, not yours. So you can't take stuff, but you take stuff that's not yours, you can get in trouble. Big trouble. Big, big trouble. Some places, some games will let you do it. Sergeant Damien, this is the quartermaster of Black Chasm Outpost, the undisputed Lord of Supplies, going in, coming out, and being given to grunts like you. Normally, the quartermaster is a job very much in demand due to the potential for the petty corruption that keeps the Empire military functioning. This man, however, seems more concerned with building the outpost than engaging in graft. Ah, yes, fresh from the surface, I see. Still some color in your cheeks. 
I'm Sergeant Dam Dam Damian. You notice that his face is very pale. You probably will be too after a few months out of the sun. I keep this outpost supplied. I can't hand much out to you, but I can sell you equipment for a good price, and I can buy things you don't need that we do. Been busy lately? He laughs. I barely get to sleep. When they offered me this job, I thought, Quartermaster, I'll have it made. They didn't say it was in Avernum, and, and until it was too late, it's really hard to get supplies down here, even food. Why is it so hard to get supplies? Because I am... Because I can only get them from two places, the Avernites and the portal. I can get building materials from the worms, bricks, and the like. But most of the food and tools have to come from the surface. Between that and the treasures we send up, I barely get anything good down here. Hardly any luxuries, almost no drinkable wine. And what treasures do you send up? The products of Avernum, gems, crystals, rare fungi for potions, some metal. All carefully listed and spoken for. If we tried to keep any of it, I'd lose a hand, or worse, be left down here. Not much wine? No, all we get, all we can get is the swill the Avernites make. It's a pain, of course. Sergeant Cinema is the one who really suffers, he smirks. Yeah, because she's a wino. Who are the worms? Oh, that's what we started calling the Avernites. I wouldn't use that word around them, though. Empress Prazik wants us to have good, happy relations with the worms, so don't make them angry. He chuckles. Okay, so you're bigoted. Um, having any problems lately? Problems? The whole world is collapsing on my head. But if you, in typical adventure or fashion, want to earn some cash, I'll pay you I'll pay, I'll pay you a bounty. There are three brigands who've been causing me us trouble. He's called Dirty Dan. He's on the road between here and New Henston. He robs our people as they travel back and forth. Convince him to go away and I'll pay you. Why don't you just send some soldiers on and kill him? Because he's an Avonite. It's madness, but we aren't supposed to kill any of them, even when they have it coming. The general really wants us to keep good relations with the with the worms, but the general also blames me when we're short of supplies, and that's why I want you to take care of the problem. I'd rather you didn't kill Dirty Dan. Just get him to take, just get him to leave, but do something. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sure, I would like to trade. All right, I have a good selection of weaponry and armor. I have decent mixed supplies that can also buy stuff you don't need anymore. Choose to buy below if you don't want to shop, if you choose to sell items. Okay, let me see your, let me see your other gear. I would like to sell something. Okay, I want to sell something. So I've got some stuff. Okay, so we can sell this. Okay. How do we, how do we sell it? Oh. Sell all. Um, Blood Crystal. Yep. Um, we can sell that because we don't need the dagger. We're not going to sell that. Um, yep, we're going to sell that. For five. This is Iron Bar. For seven. Gold Ring. Get fifty. It's worth two hundred, but we get it for we can sell it for fifty. But still, it's money. Um, can't sell that. Bronze short sword, and I think that's yeah. We're gonna sell that. What do you have? You have anything that we're selling? Herbs. Wow, fifteen. Well, it's worth sixty. Um, I'm gonna sell that. Did she have anything? She had a leather armor. Sell that, and sell that, oops, I meant to sell it, okay, um, so I can't sell this, I can put that on the ground though, well, but I, oh, I sold my sword, didn't I, damn it, didn't realize that, I forgot I had this thing, that's fine, that's fine, oh, let me see your weaponry, let me see your other gear, what do you have for other gear, oh, okay, so they have, um, shielding, energy potions, we probably should buy one for him. Um, this is a small object, can be used and might be somewhat useful. This blast contains a thick blue and may for certain are naturally magical ingredients. Drinking potion will generally have a beneficial, okay, so we do probably need to buy one of those for 
or mage, sorcerer, whatever he is, um, can buy one of those. Healing potions I think we have. Um, Guru Peel is nice too. Now let's see what they have for, let me see what your weapons are. Um, build, shield, wooden shield. They really don't have much here, do they? What kind of weapon does she have? Um, is there, I can't get to it. Alright, she has got a cave wood bow, base damage 2 to 4. Okay, um, I like to trade, let me see your weapons. So she's got a cave wood bow, okay, and the Jew bow does what? 5 to 10, this is 2 to 4. We're 72. Hmm. Bum, bum. I suppose. Okay, he's, all right, let's inventory here. He has sandals. He has sandals. She has sandals. And he has nothing. So we can buy some boots for, okay, they cost 12. Oh, they only had one. Really? Okay. Hmm. So that's the thing here. You only buy one. I do want this, the bow. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to equip him with um, who was I? I bought the boots. Who got them? I know that's what I bought. Boots. Right? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I just do something here that I wasn't supposed to? I bought him, what happened to him? So we ended up with the boots. Okay. Oh, okay, here he goes. God. All right, here we go. I, yeah. This goes here. He gets these. She gets this bow. He gets this, because he can do... Oh, I gave him the javelin. Okay. Um, he's only got six, so I'll give that to her. Okay, give him the sandals. Give him the bow. All right. Right. Oh, energy. Yep, that goes to him. Okay. Interesting. The pathway is lined with long stone troughs, each of which is full of bright green algae, thick moss, and huge poopy fungi. Soldiers of the Empire can be arrogant to the point of foolishness, but not the commanders here. Avonites grow lots of these plants to provide potion ingredients, medicine, and disgusting food. No reason for you to not do the same. Whatever that means. And what's this? Um, mushrooms. Yep. We're just wandering around here. Who is this? 
guard. You walk up to speak with this soldier, hoping to learn more. Nope. Won't talk to me. Okay, buckets of water. So this is where they get their water from. Makes sense. They got closed doors. Um... Can I get in? The door is locked. You don't have the key, and your tools is not enough to pick it. Double goody seven. Ah. What does this sign say? Upper workshop. Okay. Um. What's in here? This is not yours, is it? Uh, click on items. Hmm. What? Let's just put this now. All right. Um, okay. So we have a. Oh, we can sell them. But does it not say it's not ours? Skills. Because if we can take them, we will. To sell. Ooh, there's a book here. Quick spell books. This book describes a useful advanced magical te technique, the quick spell button. These are four quick spell buttons. That's what these are down here. On the main game screen, you can set them to cast spells you use frequently. To set one, press it. A list of spells will appear. Later to cast a spell, you have to do is press that button. Push that button. Later to change a quick spell button, hold down the command key and press it. Hmm, let's build in this slot. He doesn't have any. But he does. Um, minor heels. These are not. Okay, so we're going to do full to fire for one. Okay, alright. They don't have quick spells. Uh, mage, no, mm mm. I don't think he can either. Mage spells, no nope. battle, but they can do battle discipline. Okay, so does he have any battle discipline? He can do well aimed, well aimed, well aimed blow. Oh my God. Okay, then him. We do the same thing. Um, oops, and then her. Okay. So we don't have to go using that anymore. That makes sense. All right, let's talk to who we need to talk to. Those stairs go down, don't they? Okay. Incantrix. In Innister. At first you think that this woman is an Abernity. The pale skin, the long, wild, white hair. She soon corrects your error. Don't gawk at me like that. I'm, I'm as much a... I'm as much of the empire as you are. Even my power doesn't provide what the glow of the sun does. I am Incantrix in a star. You will be pleased to know that you have been authorized to learn some of the less intense magical incantations. I can teach them to you. All you need to do is repay me for my expenses. In the future, you will still find me here. My main workshop was destroyed. So I can learn magic from you? You have that privilege, General Redmark, granted the permission personally. You are not going to be traveling far, of course, but he does want you to have a certain measure of power. You should come back here from time to time in case your official magical por portfolio is expanded. Um, well, then what else do you wish to know? I require permission to learn magic. Where was your old workshop? Downstairs, Captain Newsom and his smuggled undead pets erected. I am still furious. Worse, they disrupted one of my experiments. It is ruined and highly unstable. I need someone to clean it up for me, but nobody will give me the the soldiers. Well, I can clean it up for you. She grins. Can you? Excellent. It will only take a moment. Go down to the workshop. There is a cauldron there. Mutter this ba phase, pr phrase to open it. She says a long... Gruntral in 
coherent string of syllables. Once the cauldron is empty, return to me. I will reward you for your time. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, maybe you should have a weapon handy when you open the cauldron. The contents might be, um, irritated. Okay. Um, yeah, I do want to learn magic. I like to learn mage spells. Um, wow, they do cost some money. So, improve bolt of fire, learn call beast, learn... I want him. Okay. Um, 39 to improve bolt of fire. So, what does it do? Uh, it's not expensive. This is the most basic of the damage dealing mage spells. If you gain more skill with this spell, it will do more damage. We are using that. Um, but what about the um, priest spells? Um, improve minor heal. Learn curing. He does have minor heal. Hmm. This spell heals some of the damage inflicted on one character as you gain more. Yeah, I think minor heal probably. Um, oh, it's not high enough to learn that spell. No! Okay. Okay, mission learn. Finish. It's not so controlled. Don't tell me about Arab. Tell me about the Anami? That is a long time away. The mage can be powerful, disruptive influences by limiting those who have access to it carefully. The safety of all is. Preserved. Of course, the, the Nami could take it further than that, but they take it too far. A cult that believes that the practice of magic should be eliminated completely. I believe that some of their number live down in these caves. Avoid them. They are mad. Magic is not so controlled in Avernum. The Avernites let anyone who wants the power have it. This results in incredible harm. Never forget that it was an Avernite wizard who brought about the assassination of the Empress Prazek's predecessor. Curse her soul. Sometimes, yeah, I know who she was, too. Sometimes Avernites will try to corrupt you with excess magic. Beware of them. Beware of them. The Empire makes sure that we only obtain as much power as we can handle wisely. What was her name? She lowers her voice. Her name was Erica Redmark. Yep, yep. It is very unwise to mention her name. We... Red decide that she was. She is dead now, and good riddance. Okay, um... Okay, so I want to do... Alright, so we're going to do him. Improve Bolt. That I can improve. Okay. Alrighty. So, we improved our magic. And so our journal, I think Jay gets us our journal. Oh, it doesn't. Jay used to get us our journal. Now we have to actually type, click on it. Dirty Dan. Okay, the cauldron. You can end up getting with a long string of, so this is how I get back down there. You can end up with a long string of um, quests. <laughs> Believe me when you do these games. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go down there and do that quest, get it out of the way. See how much we've improved. So we know where that cauldron is at, right? It was over... Was it here? Bubbling and hissing? Or was it down here? I think it was down here. Where was that cauldron at? It was one of the rooms that we were in that we had to fight. Is this it? No. Nope. It was down here. All right, I'm going to yeah. That helps when you light those lights. It helps a little bit. Nothing there. Where was that cauldron? No, I know where 
this is at. It was just like over here where we had the fight. I know it was. Like down in here. I could have swore it was. Somewhere down in here. Where is it at? No, it's not there. Damn it. They don't mark it on your map. That goes upstairs. Where is that cauldron? These are this. Damn it. That makes me mad now. I can't find it. over here? Too far away. There is a huge metal cauldron here. It is hot to the touch and vibrating constantly. There is a large metal. Okay, leave it alone. I am going to... So I did find it finally. Um, save. Yes. All right, let's see what we can do. Open it. <clears throat> this must be the bat you learned about upstairs. You draw a weapon, brace yourself, and mutter the password. Sure enough, the lid flies open, releasing a cloud of hot steam and stink. The, then wide, then wads of green goo start flying out in all directions. They hit the ground with hideous spl sp splats, and then they begin to move. Figured they would. Okay. Okay, you now have um, a javelin. So let's show that at you. Cool. All right. And you have an arrow. All right. And then you, where are you at? Um get you back a little bit and you have an arrow okay what what okay I don't know what happened there hmm that just blinked out on me and she's going to shoot that one. He's going to come down there and stick it. He missed. How many of them are there? Quite a few, it seems. All right. We got another one up here. Yep, we got another one. Um, that one's done. All right, that one's done. All right, so he can do... Can he do minor... He no, that's not what I wanted. Um, can he do minor heal? It says he's... Oh, he can't. That's right. But he can do this. Oh, that took care of one of them easily. Okay. Um, and then she... There's one right there in front of you. Shoot that one. Stick it. I think there's only a couple left. And then... How come you came down here? Oh, there's more of them. Oh, oh my goodness, they're all over the place. Okay. Um, all right. Looks like it was stunned. 
Brandy Worms, please, in terror. Hmm. And who's next? He is. Um, which is him? Him. Who is it? Where are we at? What's that? I guess you can't attack them when they're fleeing in terror. Is he out of his? He is. And you missed. What is that? One of them get hurt? She is. She's got something wrong with her. Corinne slows down. Brainy Lurga slows down. Corinne resists the day spell. Oh, so she had a day spell on her. All right, let's just get, let's just get him out of here. At last, the cauldron seems to have exhausted its supply of green goo. You have cleaned it out. Okay. New, oops. The character must be active. Okay. So, let's get her healed up. Um, no one else really got damaged too much. No, it's the way up. Okay, so we need to go up. Oh, I forgot to look to see if there was anything there. Damn it. Oh, well, was it worth it? Probably not. This isn't where I need to go. I need to go down here. All right, and then we go over here. And they are marked on the map. If you click on it, it says, yep, okay. Guest quarters. All right, that is um, quartermaster. That's the job board. Okay, so they do show up. All right, let's talk to you then. Um. I open the cauldron. It's clear. It's clean now. I am most pleased. And here is that. Here is fair payment. She hands you a wand. I crafted it for defense of the main gate, but I think it would be more useful in your hands. Now I can begin to reclaim my workshop. My dust. My trusty cauldron will not remain empty for long. Sure. Okay. Cool. Um. So I received a. Fiery wand, which is going to go to him. Alright. And that's going to go on here. You don't have one. Okay. Well, we're over, um, yeah, we're over 40 minutes, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. Holy, hopefully it recorded this because I had a little gl glitch, whatever. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.